everybody welcome back to cards by the hill my name is jane hill so today we're going to look at the crafters companion outer casing and draw templates i showed you in a haul not so long ago so let's get this open these crafters companion packets uh, are not the easiest thing to get into, I don't think. Because inevitably they tear anyway, so you always try and be careful when you open these things, but they end up a mess. Right, dear oh dear. Don't you that? Terrible. I need to come up with another idea of uh, their closures, I think. So what I'm going to do, because I've opened it now, is just cut off that mess. Right, so I know some of you have been looking forward to this. Let's get them out. So we've got, it's part of the Mini, mini Memories collection. 11 inch by 5.75 is the largest template. Here they are. So we've got box unit side panel. We've got the drawer template. We've got the drawer casing box main units. The boxer unit back panel. And the drawer casing box top. So, got to get some papers out. And start. Marking up. Right, so I've got out some Hobbycraft A4 Premium Black Card 180 GSM. And I'm just going by what they've done on here. So, don't want none of the drawer ones at the moment. So the box unit side panel and the box unit back panel are going to be in black so because they're in black I'm not going to be able to see them that well so i'm going to use a white jelly roll pen to mark out The stitching so obviously it's a bit time consuming you know you're gonna have to set some time aside to do it and I'll tell you what else I'm going to do is stick down this template so it doesn't go anywhere. You could do your stenciling in front of the TV and then... carry on with it another time there we are so that's the first one that's the box unit back panel that 
that's there. So then we're moving on to the box unit side panel. And if you take it right up to the edge of your card, you're not going to have to do so much marking out. I'll speed this bit up to music. So those two are drawn out and then we've got the drawers themselves and they show the outer casing of the drawer in black again and the drawer casing main unit in black uh, and the drawer template in black so everything's black one oh it's too small okay we'll think about that in a minute Right, last one is the drawer template. And I think we're going to have to use a 12 by 12 sheet because it doesn't fit on an A4. Okay, so we're going to do it in a brown colour. So it gives it a feel of a wooden look. 
So I'm just going to go around that and then I'll be back. Okay, so here's all our pieces. There's the drawer templates. The drawer casing. Drawer casing box top and box unit back panel. And the box unit side panel. So all these need cutting out and creasing and then I'll be back. Right, I've pulled out the vintage collection by Coordinations. Uh, I haven't actually used this before. I hope there's black in here. So it's like a material uh, card. So you've got like a linen feel to it. So you've got all sorts of colours, pink, blue, green. I don't think I've got black, no. Right, okay, so we're going to do it in a brown colour. So it gives it a feel of a wooden look. So I'm just going to go around that and then I'll be back. Okay, so here's all our pieces. There's the drawer templates. The drawer casing. Drawer casing box top and box unit back panel. And the box unit side panel. So all these need cutting out and creasing and then I'll be back. All right, so here's all the pieces, all cut out. And scored and creased, so they're all ready to be put together. Just left this one out to show you. So it's just the case of creasing on the lines, And of course you can use a bone folder if you prefer. And all the dotted lines. That's it. So it loosens everything up ready to stick. Here's my PVA glue, still going. Okay, so now we're gonna stick them together. So I'm just going by what it says on the stencils themselves. Uh, let me see if there's anything on the packet. No. You can, of course, go on to the Crafter's Companion site on YouTube to get um, a detailed tutorial. Right. Okay, so let's start with box unit side panel. Drawer, drawer, drawer. Let's divide them into drawer and box. Right, so the box unit back panel is this one. Box unit side panel is this one. So let's sort this out first. Okay. I don't think there's any instructions inside. No, there isn't. Right, so obviously these are gluing together. Side panel. 
and then box unit back panels going there. Uh, looks like we need another side panel. Okay. So you need to do two side panels in black or whatever colour you're choosing to do it in. So let's get another one of these drawn out. Thought it looked like something was missing. And of course, you might see all the stitching marks on my one because that's where I've done it to show you in white jelly roll pen. But if you do yours in a lighter colour and you do it in pencil, then obviously you can rub them out afterwards. Or you might want to keep the uh, stitching look if you do it in black. Right. Now then, let's go across here. And the white jelly roll pen does wash, wipe off of the stencil. Yeah. Just this one here. And we've got two. Right. So that's the side panels. Just cut those out. Okay. Right. So now we've got two side panels. And of course, if you are unsure, then go online and look up a tutorial because as I say, it's got no instructions inside. And, um, doesn't tell you you need to cut two of those out until you start putting it together you realize okay so box unit back panel is that one side panel is that one and side panel is that one okay so they've all got to be glued together and then we've got that's all the drawer I think we've got to cut another box unit back panel again for the top and they don't tell you none of this so let me cut another one of these out, get it glued all together and then I'll be back. Right, so there's the box itself. I think I would recommend using thicker card than I have done. Uh, this was 180 GSM, I think, if I remember rightly. Yeah, this was Hobbycraft 180 GSM. I don't think it's at all thick enough for this project so I recommend using something a bit sturdier so we're moving on to the card 
and these flaps here where I've put it together let's just get the main box unit panel here we are I think you could the the way to build it is to fold these and then glue them down or glue them that way whichever way and um, so you have like a reinforced flap on the edges but I didn't realize that till afterwards so only one of those have got the extra flap on them um, as I said you can go and look at a tutorial I'm just making it as if I had no idea what it was and there are no instructions anyway okay and if you didn't have um, use of the internet how are you supposed to make it right so this is the piece that slides in for the drawer to go inside okay and then we've got the drawer itself and the top cover which i've done in black so i might have to do that in brown to match it so with this again this is what i mean these are to fold down and then glue so it's got some sort of reinforcement in it uh, draw a template there we are so fold here glue here glue here fold here glue here so I, I think the instructions are supposed to be these notes that are listed on here Fold here, glue here. I'm going to glue that flap as well. Okay. Right. Let's get that off. Okay, so let's glue this one. No, it's glue that one. Oh, done it the wrong way round. So let's glue these two and leave the long one undone. I'm going to glue that now because it's in a right mess. So on this side, fold here, glue here, glue here. So these get glued in and that stays out from what I can work out. Okay, and then fold here, fold here on the two side panels. So then I take it, it glues inside like that. And you've got your two reinforced pieces again. So 
so you know even if there's a couple of mistakes it's still going to turn out to look like a a box drawer right so then that's going to go in now And then obviously you glue this piece, this piece, this piece, and it would have had a flap there to glue. So let me do that bit and I'll be back. So I'm making it as if there was no instructions because there isn't any paper instructions. There is on the actual templates telling you where to fold and glue, but it's not very informative. You can go online and get the tutorial, but what if you can't go online? What if you have no internet? Okay, so I'm going to make it as if... Well, not as if, but I'm going to make it as there are no instructions and I can't go on the internet. Okay, Okay. so on to the drawer. Glue here, glue here, fold here, glue, fold here, glue here, glue here blue here fold here okay so I folded the outer parts here just as glue here so I folded them over to give it the reinforcement and then glued the little flap on the end on the outside obviously you can do it on the outside or inside up to you don't forget I'm making it as if I can't get on the internet and of course there are no paper instructions right so there is the drawer And these a little bit longer okay so there's the drawer that one needs a bit longer as well and then we've got the top part of the drawer which I did in black which is this one here draw it case in box top glue here nothing at the top there so I presume that's going across the back and that's going to go on the inside to create the drawer it's a bit silly how that's got nothing there. But we'll just do the best we can here. So I did that in black. Draw a top box top we don't need anything else because that's going to go that's going to go in there and then pull out as a drawer so I'm not sure why we've got Draw a case in box top. Let's just tidy up this drawer a bit. So we're nearly there. Right, so that's the drawer. Now, it's pretty much done.
and we'll just cover it with some pretty paper and then that's going to be it right I'm going to cover it in this sweet dreams uh, craft sensation pad so we've got all padlocks in pink and these are double sided very thick I should have made the, the casing out of this flowers stags butterflies bird cage locks keys butterflies beautiful colors arrows deer flowers absolutely gorgeous colors A lot of butterflies, padlocks. Oh, wow, look at that. Those are the two we're going to use. There we go. Lots of butterflies, padlocks, stags, arrows, and bird cages. Gorgeous. That's the Sweet Dreams pad. 24 sheets with 2 times 24 designs. Double sided printed. 250 GSM. Yeah. I think that was probably the better thickness to do it in. Or even if you've got some hardboard. real real strong card three five five and six right I'm going to make some pieces to decorate it with. Just paper. So I'm going to make it on uh, for the side panels, probably the top. Might even do a piece on the inside I'm not sure so I'll finish that up and then I'll come back and we've got to put a little handle on it I've been on the crafters companion YouTube channel and they do recommend 300 GSM to make it with obviously mine is too thin but I have strengthened it now with this extra card that I've put on which is good the handle's on, as you can see, and I'm going to put two corner pieces on the back, like that. They do say to you that you can put them on the bottom if you want to, instead of the top, because that's where it gets knocked around the most. Um, don't know, top or bottom? 
probably the top. And I'm going to glue them down with hot glue. And what I've done is... I've used the... Um, Crafters Companion 3D box corner uh, decorative pieces. And they come with these little brads. So what I've done is put the brads on and chop off the back bits. So I've used hot glue to keep them on. And then I'm just going to hot glue them on both sides. And those little handles come in a Crafters Companion hardware handles pack. Includes six brads and three hardware handles. Okay, so there's lots of tutorials on YouTube. Um, so you can go and have a look. But they are, they're all done in various different ways. Um, some of them are done with red tape. Some of them are done with glue, you know, so it's up to you what variation you use. I didn't want to put all the breads through the card and make holes, so I decided I would just hot glue it. Watch your fingers and your hands when you um, hot glue them because they, the metal does get very hot. So it's got its metal pieces on. As I say, it's up to you if you want to push through the cardboard. If you use 300 GSM, it's going to be a lot stronger than this. Okay, so I've added an extra piece inside above the drawer. Um, they don't show you to do that, but I think it looks a bit more finished. It has a piece there um, and then of course we've got to make the books to go inside so we'll do that using the uh, crafters companion mini memories collection page spine and binding okay so look out for that video and that will be the books to go inside there as I'm doing all my videos, I want to thank you for your likes. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It means so much to me. Every, everything you do is so much appreciated. I look forward to seeing your comments. Keep them coming and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.